Hey, Max here, welcome to the studio. I get a question uh, very often, and the question is, what is your favorite Lego set? Because I have a lot, uh, and people that know me, uh, they, they typically ask, um, what's my favorite one? And it's a very easy question to answer because I know which one is my favorite one. Uh, and then we get into conversation of like, what's your top three, what's your top five, what's your top 10? So I'm going to give you my 10 favorite Lego sets that I own. These are not reviews. These are just the sets that I really enjoy. They're on display around the house. Uh, I don't go crazy with uh, putting up sets around my house, but a few do get uh, special spots. So starting off at number 10 is the Ferrari F40. This is set number 10248, and it came out in 2015. And when I saw this one, I was like, I've got to have this car. I like Ferraris anyway. So and I think Lego does too. I think they have a little bit of an obsession with Ferrari. You, there's lots of them. But this is my favorite one. Uh, a couple of features on it that I really do like. Well, it it's just, it's functional. Um, our hood uh, on the front opens up to reveal a trunk. Uh, the back opens up also just like the car. We got doors that open up. And it's just, the build was fun. The car is fun. The features on it are fun. It's a very uh, functional car and everything that works on it. And this is number 10. This is the Ferrari F40. Uh, the, even the engine, if you want to take out the engine at the back, you can pop off the bumper and, and take it out of there. But just a really uh, great car overall. Really like this guy. And he is uh, number 10 uh, on my list. All right, number nine on the list is Fort Legorito, and I've seen different pronunciations of this, but this is uh, my number nine, and that's my pronunciation. This guy was uh, 1996, uh, it's set number 6762. It was re-released again uh, in 2002 uh, with a different set number. I think it was 6769, but this one, uh, we, me and my brother had this one, uh, well, we had the whole Wild West, theme except for this set we kept asking for it we kept asking for it finally one day dad came home with it we were like oh this is awesome this is great so we played with that for like a couple of months and we were like we need another one so he actually brought us another one so i actually got two of these uh original um owners uh back in uh 96 and i've got some old pictures somewhere of these things built together we made two big uh one big fort we took two of them made it together and man just hours and hours of fun uh, on this one, so that's number nine. Uh, you know, I, not, not, no, no figures here, but that's okay. They're they're somewhere. They're they're in a bin somewhere. Uh, but this is uh, our number nine Fort Legorito. This guy was awesome. Lots of good times. Uh, a lot of a little cool, but different features with it. You could uh, move it around. You can change out the layouts if you wanted to. And uh, just just a nice little build. Really liked it. And good set. So that's number nine. Number eight, the Lion Knight's Castle, set number 10305. And this guy just came out in 2022, and I did a massive expansion on this guy using four of these sets. Uh, I wish I could place this one higher on the list, but he came in at number eight. Great display set, awesome playability with the kids. We've done some great battles with this. Just a fantastic overall set. Uh, we, we've had so much fun with this one. But it came in at number eight, and... Yeah, just there's so many good things to say about this set. I could spend hours on it, but we're not doing a review today. We're doing favorites. So this is coming in at number eight. All right, number seven is the second edition of the UCS Millennium Falcon. This is set number 75192, and it came out in 2017. And I have been trying to find one of the older, the, the first edition, and they're just, they were crazy expensive. So I was never able to get one. And then they announced this was coming out, and I was like, got to have it day one. So I was able to get this guy the very first day that he was available, and I got the black card uh, for the Star Wars thing they did later, which I still use that card. It's in the wallet. I use it. And uh, that was a pretty cool little promo that I got. Uh, with this guy, it's just the, the detail on it is amazing. Uh, it's got an interior. Uh, it's This one gets displayed uh, at the coffee table in, in the main uh, family room area. So this is... Uh, definitely a, a top favorite man just just a great set and we, we really enjoy this one and it's always a good uh, topic of conversation uh, when uh, visitors come over guests friends family all, all that so this one normally gets uh, a lot of talk just a, a fantastic overall set uh, when it came out in 2017 it was the largest set uh, then uh, it was coming in a little over 7500 parts 
Uh, since then, we've got a couple more that's bigger than that. The Hogwarts Castle, the World Map, Coliseum, things like that. So I think it's ranked rank 5 right now uh, for most parts, I think, is where it's at. Uh, came with uh, eight minifigures, I do believe, and some good uh, you know, porgs, things like that. And just just a really uh, good set. Really enjoy it. Um, so that's uh, number seven. Number six, the monorail transport base. Uh, this is for Unitron, and this came out in 1994. And I didn't get this in 1994. Uh, it was one that I was always wanted. Uh, when I, I do believe, after I got married, I mentioned to my wife that uh, this is one that I had already, I'd looked at as a kid, always wanted, never got it. I think it was pretty expensive back then. I don't remember the, the actual cost of it, but just never got it. And I don't know, like six years later, uh, my wife got this uh, for me for my birthday. And I I get a box. I'm shaking it. So I shook it. I was like, oh, there's Legos in here. So I, I knew I was getting something, but I didn't know it was going to be this. And she remembered that far later of... Uh, getting this for me so this is uh this could easily be a number one uh for sentimental uh reasons but uh we're gonna try to stick with not getting too sentimental on some of these but this is my number six uh this is uh just a, a fantastic set uh with everything that comes with it uh, a couple minifigures four and had the uh the spires robot with it with the prints and it that was a first uh back then with as much printing as it had i would love to run this train and has worked and worked and worked for years and for the very first time when i go to do this video it doesn't work well it does so i know what the problem is the the wire connecting uh the nine volt uh motor uh to that wire uh, in this section uh, over here it's just not making a good connection so i have to push it in a little bit and then it starts working but it's just it, it needs some tlc i'll get someone to maybe get that wire and, and fix it up um I, i'm missing a, a support piece i don't know how i'm missing one i keep these things uh pretty close uh on everything but i'm missing a short one so i'll replace that one day but uh overall it's a complete set everything is there except for that one piece and we just got to get the motor running again so I'll work on that this year sometime and uh, hopefully bring this guy back to life. But that is number six. Now we're getting into top five. We have the Shield Hell Carrier. It is set number 76042. And this was a day one. Go to the Lego store and purchase it. And I think Blossom was about uh four years old when i got this and she, this was her first set that she really helped me with on i think she she did maybe like three or four of the bags and uh this is where she really started and and having fun uh with lego we worked on this one for a couple of days took our time uh with her because she was just learning and i probably could knock this guy out in a day or two uh with the build but uh when you're working with someone new you take your time be patient and you help them learn so uh, this one came out in 2015. Uh, it's a minifigure stand, all kinds of uh, miniature builds with it. Uh, it's got the nano figs or the micro frigs or whatever you want to call them. Um, I've still got those sealed in the bag. I never did open them up. And just lots of good memories with the set. Fantastic display piece. I do have the motor for it uh, and the lights. And it does work when I've got fresh batteries in it. And just, uh, just a great set. This is... Uh, an easy top five for me and uh, this one gets displayed i think i've got it on top of the refrigerator right now and uh, just because i like it up high uh to try to get make it look like it's flying through the air so it goes on top of the fridge it's a fun uh conversation piece number four the royal knight's castle uh this is set number six zero nine zero it came out in 1995 uh this one uh, my parents got for me. I have had it ever since. I still have the box. And this has been a favorite for a very, very long time. It was a number one for a while. Uh, from when I was just a little lad running around. But uh, a couple other things have moved this one to number four. And just just a great set. There, This has playability. I think it's a great display piece. And, you know, back back when you're... When you're playing with Lego sets, I think something that they're missing nowadays is when you are doing a battle and you break something off, 
it's very easily and quickly you can build this back it's not crazy huge um, so that's something that I like from the older sets is that fixability when something does fall off uh, the newer sets they're just so complex that if something goes wrong you've got to get out the instructions you got to figure out where everything went uh, to get it back in place and make sure it's functioning properly so I really like the older sets for that uh, just the sim simplicity of them and uh, the playability for hours that you could do uh, with these things. So kids are getting play times out of these now. Uh, we definitely use this stuff uh, in our other castles. Uh, the figures for this are on display. Definitely, definitely top five. Easy uh, top five pick for me. But that's number four, uh, the Royal Knights Castle. All right, now we're into our top three. And if you didn't think I was going to have an Iron Man in here somewhere, then you don't know me that well. So... Uh, number three is the Silver Centurion Poly Bag. Uh, it, it's, it has a set number of 5002946, and it came out in 2016, and it was, you had to buy a game uh, to get it, uh, the Lego uh, Avengers game, which we have, and we got this, and we were there getting them, and I was like, I was talking to the guy running the store there, and I was like, man, I really want this one. This is a great one. I've, this is one of my favorites. He was like, here, have a couple extra. So I still have those. But uh, this is our uh, Silver Centurion for Iron Man. I have a full armory. I'm working on other Lego prints to get other Mark suits in there. And we're going to have a full uh, range of Iron Man suits from 1 to like 6,000. I don't know what number they're up to now. Uh, probably 85 if I was to make a guess. But uh, this is number 3. And this was the only figure uh, for a long time that had print on every... Uh, section that is available uh, to print on for a Lego minifigure. So it's on the uh, the legs, the toes, the side of the legs, arms, uh, front and back uh, of the torso, and just a really great set uh, and minifigure. Uh, when they came out with the new collectible minifigures for Marvel, I think there's four figures in there that have prints on them now, but this guy held that title for a long time, and I was for sure that there was going to be a Star Wars minifigure, that might have had prints everywhere, and there isn't. Marvel right now is uh, getting that title. So that is my number three, and an easy, easy, easy number three for me. Number two, the Galactic Chief from the Space Police 2 uh, theme, set number 6813. This was my first Lego set. Uh, this was 1993. And I've had them ever since. And for you eagle-eyed uh, Lego uh, crazy people out there like myself, uh, you will notice that the uh, loudspeaker or blaster or laser gun, whatever you want to call it, is red. It is supposed to be white. But uh, back in the day, I was like, ah, the red needs to match his uh, shoulder pauldrons. So I've just never had the white one ever since then. I, I wanted the red to match up with his red. And uh, that's how it's been ever since. I, I could replace it easily. They're, they're very expensive, but that's what I've got. Uh, this is my first set that I ever owned. Um, it is set number uh, 6813. And, you know, just 17 parts to it. One minifigure, uh, the Chief. And just a, a set you could fly around, blast things. It was hours of fun. I had some other... Uh, some of the space sets uh, back then that we just, Blacktron, just all kinds of stuff. Just uh, lots of fun with this one. And uh, we still got it today. Uh, Ant-Man's been playing with it here a little bit uh, since I've had it out. But it's a definitely uh, hangs out uh, in uh, my master bedroom. It's uh, one of my favorite uh, display pieces. And it's just for me, my number two. And let's get on to number one. Uh, before we get to number one, let's do an honorable mention for top ten. And let me show you that one really fast. Okay, another honorable mention would be uh, the Black Pearl, along with the Queen Anne's Revenge, and then the, uh, the Barracuda's Bay. Uh, I really like the ships, but my wife likes them more. And I think when I wasn't looking one day, she just nabbed them and uh, put them up in here. This is her uh, craft room, and she's a, a, a book nerd, so... Uh, this, uh, ended up in here, and we do have the, uh, the Hogwarts castles over there, 
And uh, so I can't put those in my top 10 because I think she technically owns them. So let's take a look at my number one favorite set of all time. We have finally made it to number one, and that is the giant truck from the model team uh, theme, set number 5571. And they call it a giant truck. I always call it the black cat truck because it had a black cat on the front of it. And that's just uh, what I had always called it. Front opens up. You got that V8 uh, diesel motor in there. Good truck. So this one uh, my dad had gotten for me. Came out in 96. And I had asked and asked and asked and asked and asked for this set. And it was always a no. Uh, I was trying to find jobs to get it, raise money, do anything I do to get this set. Uh, it, my dad was a truck driver. And I was just like, Dad, this is like you. This is... Uh, this this represents you. I, I want this one. That was that was my thought back then, and just wasn't getting it. So we went. Uh, what I thought was a vacation. It was not. Uh, I, I do believe my dad had to work, but we ended up at a hotel. I do believe it was uh, Virginia Beach, and I might be wrong. I can't remember, but I, I do believe we were at Virginia Beach, and my dad was doing some work on a hotel. Uh, they did some restoration work back then, and this. Uh, was delivered to the hotel. I didn't know that my dad had ordered it, and I think we were there for like three days uh, while he was I was doing his uh, work thing, and we were gonna get some time at the beach. And I could tell you, I didn't see the beach one time uh, while I was there. I was putting this guy together uh, on a vacation uh, in Virginia Beach, and just a fantastic set, uh, one of the the best uh, memories. So I, de I definitely went a little bit uh, sentimental there. But uh, just all the features on this are great. Um, just just a great set. I did have a trailer built with this for the longest time. And I had to rebuild this section back here to help with some of the support. So that's the only change on this. Because that back there will, the way it's angled, it, it would not support the trailer. It was, it was a, a trailer went, went pretty nice with this. I might rebuild it one day. I don't know. There's, It was very uh, rudimentary and it needed a lot of work. So I would like to redo it one day. I also would like to do a part out and make this guy into an Optimus Prime and do a recolor and just, just make a Prime. So uh, this is uh, my number one, uh, the giant truck, set number 5571 from 1996. Great memories. See you guys later.